Hey, Dave, what's going on, man? How's work? There I go, mute my YouTube. What's up, Dan? What's up? I just came on. Savannah's at dance right now, so I figure I'd come in for a little bit. Was doing some sorting so I might as well just go live and do some sorting and see if anybody's interested in anything yeah I know it's it's weird it's like there's some people I do not get notifications for it's the, the weirdest thing I, I don't get it uh, it's just YouTube being YouTube right for the mama what's going on hobby holy cow oh come on everybody's here I just thought I would take a chance and uh, go live and see what everybody's doing too and there's Tim sort away truth my goodness what's going on um, I got some hockey. I'm going to go back and forth between some hockey and some, um, sorry, and, uh, some football right now. Uh, I reached out to Tim. Tim's looking for some, uh, different players for Detroit. So I've got a box, uh, that I had picked up, uh, with a lot of wings cards in it. And, uh, if there's anything that Tim can give to his friends, cause you know, I like to just make sure everybody's taken care of, um, you know, figure out what's here and what's there and send it away and then Tim I need to talk to you a little bit about um, getting you some cards in a box what the best way of getting it to you would be um, especially just for shipping and whatnot so but uh, yeah so I'm gonna go through just gonna find my stream yards here so I'm gonna do a little bit of football so if there's anything that you guys see you guys collect I know that Elkanon's in here Broncos fan of course so I just finished helping my, I've got a lot of elderly neighbors. I got to take my sweater off because there's just helping. I've got a lot of snow and uh, melted and it froze again. So a lot of ice everywhere. And then the stupid snow plows come through and they dig up all the ice and slush and it, uh, before it all freezes. And it just, you know, all these old people with their older people, which is nice, it's, you know, it's fine. Uh, but just helping them at the end of their driveway so they don't slip and fall and just using the ax pick and everything else to get through the ice. So cards for days, what's going on? I hope you're having a wonderful day, Truth. I had a great day. Got my, my daily workout here today. So, top breaks. How's it going? Um, so, we have a Shannon Sharp. We've got a couple Shannon Sharps here. A, so a lot of the stuff I don't know. So, if there's anything you see that's, like, phenomenal, let me know. Curtis Martin. Yes, today is MG's birthday. We got a large int, uh, Junior Seu. I think he's streaming right now, but that's fine. Uh, Woodson, Tim Brown Heritage. Oh, they made Heritage for football? Seriously? That's cool. That's actually really cool. Let's see what I'm missing here. There we go, Curtis Martin, Chris Carter, another sharp. Yeah, so Savannah's in dance right now, so I'm just going to hang out for a little bit uh, before they get home. We might have to do a Costco run today. Um, just try to get it over and done with uh, before the holiday. There's a junior say you. Uh, was that record broken? Somebody's talking about the record. Um, I guess in the in the football game was that broken or I, I didn't look it up. Didn't have a chance to see it. But oh, it is Rubies. Thanks. See, took the words out of my mouth. Cards. That's awesome. That is freaking phenomenal. So we got a Aeneas, Aeneas Williams, Chris Carter. I don't know too much about football other than the. The bigger players are Derek Thomas, uh, Thurman Thomas, Bruce Smith, uh, Andre Reed. Yeah, the Buffalo. Uh, when was it? Uh, Super Bowl Giants and the Buffalo Bills. Um, I've mentioned it a long time ago, but I was in the national commercial uh, aired during the Super Bowl for Big Brothers Big Sisters organization. That was probably my only start of fame. Was that video was a celebrity at school in grade school warren moon that's a nice warren moon so that's a fleer flare yeah fleer flare that's pretty cool nice and that is number 117 regular base card so we got a steve largent 
a there's a Troy Aikman. Nice. That's a cool jersey. A Bob Lilly. Andre Reed. Derek Thomas. If anybody PCs any of these guys, let me know. Tim Brown. Woodson. So how is everybody? How's everybody's Tuesday? I should have asked that. Michael Irvin. James Lofton. It's a little bit beat up. It must have been from Gumstain Thousand Yard Club. What year is this from? Uh, 90... No, 86. Wow. 86,000 yard. I like that. Almost looks like uh, money. Printed money. The picture. Russ Grimm. Ooh, 79. Who we got here? Um, Jack Lambert. Don't know any of these guys, really. In the early 80s, unfortunately. Richard Dent. I know Richard Dent from the Bears. Today is good. Awesome, Dave. Glad to hear. Burnt and busted. Hey. Yeah, Troy's Cards and Collectibles. I uh, don't know PCs. He might have it. If you check out his page, usually we're trying to get everybody to put all the PCs in uh, the About page so everybody knows. Raining. Yeah, we had a lot of snow today. It stopped in the afternoon, but just a mess, of course. So, Dragon, if you're still here, Dragon Phantom, I'm going to do some Detroit. If there's anything you see, you let me know. You stop me. And um, I know you are looking for some players for your friends. Uh, for your friend, just to show some good players back in the day. Oh, hey, that's right. Clint, what's going on, man? I forgot you changed your name. The bench warmer. Ah, uh, yeah, maybe. We could do some wrestling. The Divas. I like... I like the I like the chicks that are kind of current, right? <laughs> I don't want anybody that was like, you know, my mom's age. <laughs> Just <laughs> But it's all good. Stop all of them. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh boy. Uh so we got it uh a Y, a Paul Y is a Bart. Um Chris Osgood, come on. There we go. I don't care what anybody says about Chris Osgood. Got a goalie. Got a Kozlov. Aaron Ward, these are old. Wow, Chris Draper, look how young. Um, let's see what do we got here. And as soon as I show hockey, everybody leaves, but that's okay. Um, just a mix of cards. Just like I said, I'm just hanging out, sorting. That's a nice Chris Draper. It's his second four years in the NHL. There is a Fedosov. Yeah, Drapes. Good old Drapes. Keith Primo. There's a good one, Paul Coffey. Jimmy Carson. There we go. Konstantinov. I think that's his rookie card. These are some old ones. Wow. Stevie Y year. Well, that's scarf warmer, neck warmer thing. Greg Stefan. Daryl Sittler. They arrived. Awesome. Um, Elkanon, um, I did make mention of it probably the same day that we talked. Uh, I, I made a phone call. So I just needed to make sure that that happened because that's, you know, that's not right. So I'm glad that they arrived, my friend. So drapes, we got drapes, burnt and busted. Check out the. Yes. Reed Larson. So these are some older ones. These are from what, 80? 8283, yeah. There's an Aaron Ward gold card. So whatever you see, Tim, let me know. I will pull it for you. Um, we'll do the drapes too for you. Do the drapes. It's like the whole team set. Missing uh, the Iserman. Sean Burr. My goodness. Oh, blast from the past. Peter Klima. Dino Cicerelli. Hanlon. For Durko. No luck on Troy's PC. Hmm. Anybody know who Troy's is, uh, PC is? That'd be... Can help uh, Clint out. Yeah, Rip Burr, I know. That's right, totally forgot about that. Yeah. 
That wouldn't be a really a pick-me-up card to give, I guess. Paul McLean. Oh, there was a nice one. What is this? Oh, Aurora. Okay, Aurora 2001. I have not seen this card before. Oh, specific. Specific card. Pavel Burray. Sean Burr. Yeah, that's a nice Shanahan. Oh, that's a nice Zetterberg in the game, too. Okay, so guys, I found one finally. My first one I've been able to find in a collection. So these are the other top loaders that you can get. They aren't as, you know, they're, they're not as fancy as mine, actually. They're a lot fancier. So I don't know if you guys can see that. Um, let me just put it down here. I don't know if you can see the outline here. So this is the version that they have, I think, of uh, Ultra Pro for the corner. So what you do is, same with the, the Urban Snip, you start on one side. You actually start from one corner, work your way down, flip it through, and go here. The only thing I don't like about this style is they did not cut it, if you can see that, but they did not cut it all the way to the edge. So when you're putting a card in, if you're not careful, you can still bang the corner trying to get it in on the other side. That's why I don't like these ones and I like my style. But unfortunately, um, you know, it's, you know, only one that's on the market unless you just cut it yourself. So anyways, there's, that's why I don't like it. You still have a chance of banging a corner if you're not careful. Uh, whereas my way, um, here's my way. I was doing some other cards I didn't want to damage earlier. Um, with the, just a little urban snip there. You can see that there, little corner. As soon as you start one corner and you slide it all the way, there's never a resistance and it goes right in smooth without tapping that corner. So I always recommend it if you're opening up a box that's um, uh, damage sensitive, corner sensitive uh, for uh, grading. Definitely like an 86 tops would be a perfect example. Um, do some snipping and you won't have to get a little white feather so <laughs> we can get a card collection yeah. so Tim whatever you want uh, let me know for your buddy I will help you out I got a shanty here for you too um, let's see we got a Holdstrom ha, come on now We're, what a collection Detroit collection would it be without uh, Thomas man he was the best guy ever to play in front of that goaltender, I tell you. Just give me one sec. My wife might be messaging me. Let's see here. Oh, she's grabbing food on the way home tonight. Our once a week eat out time. Subway. Sweet. I will take it. So there's Thomas. Holdstrom. That's a nice card. I will give that to your buddy, Tim. I'll send it your way. There's another Shanny. Who's now part of the Maple Leafs organization? Oh, nice Osgood. Don't think I have that one. So that is my wife's boyfriend. Um, if she were to date somebody other than you know being with me, she would be with Chris Osgood. Um, she's come out, she said it, and I'm like, yep, that's fine. You're allowed to have that. So um, if Chris Osgood asks you on a date, by all means go. Just make sure you get my blocker autographed, and we'll be all good. <laughs> Tim Hortons, I know. So we got Greg Johnson, another Kozlov. Hey, KB, what's going on, man? Yeah, did you get that package yet, KB? I sent it out, uh, I think, on the weekend. You probably didn't get it yet, but it went by regular mail, so... There's Darren McCarty. That is from 92. Oh, that's his rookie year. Nice. That's right. That's his rookie. Oh, you got to love that sweater. Tis the season. They must have been playing Toronto or something. Look at everybody's dressed in blue. Tis the season to that guy. Ha <laughs> ha. That's what we need to do. We need to do a series. Find the ugly sweater contest in back of um, behind cards. There we go. Number. One. There's the first one. Ha <laughs> ha. Sweet KB. Cicerelli. It's always a good one. Kozlov. Daryl Sittler. Hey, he was great. 
He played with the Leafs for many, many, many years. Throw that one in. I know it's Leafs, guys, and there's nothing that... Um... But yeah, that'd be a cool series. Let's do a contest. Everybody, I'll do... I should do a quick video. Find everybody do a... We're going to do... That's what we're going to do, guys. We're going to do this. I'm going to do it tonight uh, once I am done dinner. We are going to have hashtag ugly sweater. And um, here's what I'll do. Everybody will post an ugly sweater card that they find. And this is going to be my entry right here because it's the first one. And uh, anybody that posts uh, the ugly sweater hashtag and uh, share it and uh, let me find it, I will do this. I'll do a random drawing and we will do, I will give away, because I said I was going to give away from my one of my breaks, which I had to buy some spots to get it filled. We will do this. It's going to be a giveaway contest, guys. And I'm going to give away the Akuna rookie card. So that is going to be a giveaway. It's going to be for the Ugly Sweater giveaway contest. It's going to be a Kuna Jr. rookie card. Uh, we'll see if it takes off. Hopefully we get it, uh, 10 or so or more entries, but we're going to call it the Ugly Sweater. Display your card from your collection that has an ugly sweater. It doesn't have to be a festive. Festive the, the better, but anything that you think that's just an attire or, or a sweater. Um, and uh, we'll see if, see if it goes, but regardless, Kuna Rookie. I believe that's the one that uh, I did get, if I'm not mistaken. It'll be this one or the regular one, whichever one I pulled um, because I had the Braves. So I said I would give it back to you guys because I didn't feel right taking uh, the Braves, um, but uh, it's going to be for the giveaway. So ugly sweater, hashtag ugly sweater. And uh, we'll see if it takes off, guys. I think it'll be pretty cool. Um, let's see, what else do I have here? Astronaut cards, yeah. <laughs> Dave. Uh, let's do some more football. Football. So I'm going to send this pile so far to you, Tim. Put these to the side. We'll do a little bit more football so everybody can see some of the football cards that have been sorting. There is a Thurman Thomas. Oh, that's nice. I like these Pacific cards with all this bling. So this is um, probably sensitive to condition with the way the foil is on the corner. So we'll use in one of my sleeves here. NASA cards. That's awesome, Elkanon. Oh, That'd be pretty cool. I'd like to see those. We got the Rose Bowl. Thurman Thomas. And some more Thurman Thomases. Anybody like Thurman Thomas? Wild card. Oh my goodness. Blast from the past wild cards. That's cool. Playoff card. This is from Skybox. Another wild card. Collector's Edge 93. What are these? Serial numbered? Come on. Seriously? Oh, they are too. Look at that. Serial numbered cards. They feel plasticky. Yeah, they are. They're plastic. I did not know that. Collector's Edge 93. They are plastic cards. That's different. You're eating soon. All right, we will add. I will add you a stack. I'll get it out to you. Make sure you get food. Food's important. Man, this guy. Oh, look at that. That must be a foil. That's pretty cool. This must be for the Bowman foil, I'm assuming. Men of Autumn. Wow. Look at that gold background. Whew. Ooh, that's nice. These are sweet. Where are these Bowman's best? Wow. You want poutine? Where can you get poutine? You know what? If you can find, go to a um, 
uh, what is it? Wegmans, right? Hold on. Walgreens is the your their drugstore. I keep getting it mixed up. Wegmans is the grocery store. Um, find some cheese curds, Wisconsin cheese curds, and I can tell you, um, they might have poutine gravy, but if not, just get a nice uh, brown gravy, and just do some nice crispy fries, and pour put the cheese curds, just drizzle it all on the fries, and pour the gravy over top, and let it sit. That's it, man. Good enough. Closest you'll come. How do you spell it? It is spelt. Here, I'll put it in chat here. Uh, any specialty store, then? Do you have anything like a Trader Joe's, I think, you, is out in the States? Um, uh, anything that sells like specialty foods, not just like your basic run-of-the-mill, but it's um, poutine. Poutine. We got a nice Bowman's Best Warren Moon. So these ones are from 90... 98. Wow, these are pretty sweet cards, actually. Marshall Falk. And we got a Michael Irving. Or Irvin, sorry, Irving. Oh, yeah, I'm creating. Now I want some poutine. Our chip wagon poutine place is actually closing at the end of the week, so I gotta get my last poutine of the season because they don't open until spring again. Chris Carter Jr. Yeah, I'm, I'm getting hungry now. Poutine! And then you can mix it up, add some bacon crumble on that poutine. Oh, yeah. Now we're talking. Some shredded chicken. Uh-oh, my wife's talking about the subs now. Let me just check that real quick. Oh, maybe we're not going to have Subway. Make sure I message her so she knows I'm around. Troy Aikman. But yeah, you should do some poutine. Make it yourself. It'd be just as good. Just don't put shredded cheese, like regular mozzarella cheese or anything. It's got to be cheese curds. That's the key to successful poutine is the cheese curds and the fries. You got to get the... The fries have to be crispy. They have to stay crispy under pressure or fresh cut fries. Um, that's that's the way. If you have fresh cut fries, that's the best. If not, um, I don't know if you guys have Costco. Um, those crispy fries, the Costco fries that they have. I can't remember the company, Caven Dish maybe. I'm not sure if you guys have that in the United States. Um, they stay crispy while being doused with um, uh, with the gravy. So, <clears throat> But definitely, yeah, definitely. Go through some more of this. Uh, call French fries chips? No, don't call them chips. I'm not. I'm not British. I'm not British. Oh, Salming's a good one. I'm gonna send that one to Tim. Another McCarty Dallas Drake. Kozlov. I think I gave him a Kozlov. Can't even read that. That's a problem with the top's gold. Hard to read. Unless I'm just getting old, one or the other. Yeah, you live at Costco. Can't beat the price for a hot dog and a drink. Come on. That's the only reason why I like going to Costco. If we have to go for groceries or whatever, I just like I look forward to that in a caramel sundae if I'm not on a diet. Um, I gotta I'm going on a big crunch diet uh, coming up at the beginning of the year. Uh, it's one of my things I want to do for 2020. I want to lose at least 20, 25 pounds. Um, and uh, we'll see. I might take some some jujitsu. It'd be good for my old body. So we got this one, which is... Oh, Lidstrom. Nice. Well, that's a young in Lidstrom. I'm going to give that one to Tim. Yeah. 
best beef hot dog. And then mine has the sausages. I don't know if your guys um, have the sausages as well, Pot Coffee. People call him a traitor. There's uh, there's Lidstrom's rookie. Let's leave that puppy up. Old Peachy Premier. Give that one to Tim. It's a nice rookie card. Uh, Leaf Limited. That one's Shanny. The Linicless Lidstrom. Oh, Mike Vernon. Another Osgood. Manny Legacy. Man, it's too bad. He was looking so good, but just did not happen. Vernon. Got some Vernon, so I'll give a Vernon to Tim. Sweet. Yeah, I'm thinking about it. Like with Savannah, she did the the, the trial. Um, I think I sent you a picture. You saw it. The recommendation, and I think she's liking it. And the big thing too is uh, my nephew and my niece and my sister are all in that same school as well too, um, which is pretty pretty sweet. So that's a Stevie Y. Um, just because Tim is awesome and he's a Detroit fan, I'm going to give that one to him. Drapes. Another Osgood. Costco. Now my, now my wife's deciding. Um, they have three subs for $21.99. Um, but my wife thinks, oh, it's still available. Okay, normally I don't like eating out um, as much. So unless it's like we have to we have to with just busy lives right I just like to do something somewhat healthy um, but i just don't like to pay regular price i am a coupon guy guys i don't know why my wife hates it sometimes it's um even when we're, we're shopping for the you know she's shopping for the holidays it's like let me check ahead of time because i i'm like the the, the online shopper right if i can save two bucks save two bucks my wife's just like i just want to order it and just be done with it um but anyways that's just uh Love the coupons. Love the coupons. Or the rewards, right? Anything rewards? Everybody's on here test, texting me. Let's see what... Uh, I didn't get it, Dave. Might have to resend it again. It's the Canadian thing, of course. Victor, what's going on? Yeah, that or breaking up ice for an hour, helping out my neighbors to get their ice off their stinking driveways. Oh, there's an Ericsson. Oh, Tatsuk. Avocator, Tim, I'm going to hook you up, man. Luke Robitaille. Uh, oh, my goodness. Yeah, Tim. Okay, that is Tim. All right. That's what I thought. Was making sure. Cleary. Ray Shepard. Wow, blast from the past. We'll give a logo. A buck. Yeah. Yeah, I didn't get it, Dave. Um, unless it's going to come in late. Sometimes it's saying not support. I don't know if you're using an eye. Oh, there I got it now. Wow. That's crazy. Craziness. And thank you, Victor. It it arrived. Um, we'll do... Uh, we just did our mail date. It actually just <laughs> arrived today. So I won't open it uh, until next week. Thank you very much. Um, I know Savannah will be thrilled to open it. Rip, Mr. Bob Probert. You ended, uh, your life ended very early. It's too bad. My best experience meeting a hockey player, I can tell you that. Bob Probert.
Yeah, you can't beat it. It's just like um, Ikea too, right? If you go there, you get two hot dogs and a pop for two bucks. You can't beat it. So I will get to that video today, guys, for the ugly sweater. Maybe we'll have to add, like, so I can search for everybody's entry. Um, ugly sweater, um, UCB, and then that way, short form. And uh, we can get rid of this Acuna for the holidays. Keith Primo rookie. We'll pass that one on. Another Probert. I know a lot of you guys don't like your hockey. I'm trying to help with education for one of Dragon Fan Tim's buddies so he can share some hockey players with his son and just to be able to talk about them which is always good right you got to keep the little ones interested in the hobby um, here's Brad Park it's nice to see the little ones I know Savannah man she did her mail day video yesterday and she just like freaked out <laughs> which is awesome i'm not complaining she was full of energy oh and speaking of mr hockey there we go uh no um he had a heart attack maybe it was related um but yeah he he just uh it was his time i guess um it's too bad it's too bad there's uh they, they have a book i uh, haven't read the book fully i've read uh, snippets of it uh, but it's going to be a read that I like to do maybe this winter when things slow down. But I know he, he used to, you know, back in the day he couldn't play some hockey games because he wouldn't be allowed to cross the border into uh, Canada with a criminal record, right? So it was, it was interesting. There's another Probert. A lot bigger in person, I can tell you that much. Robert Martin with the point. We'll do some basketball next. We'll switch it up. Nice Chris Osgood. Keith Primo. And I think I went through these ones already. All right, so those will be for Dragon Fan Tam. We'll leave those football here. And I think, did I go through... I went through those ones and those ones. Yep. Went through those ones. Didn't go through these ones yet. And those ones, yep. Okay, so those are not. I'm gonna grab a stack of basketball. Free meals and ev sign me up. That's right. Free meals. Absolutely. I don't know if there's any basketball fans in here. Do a quick stack of basketball and then I'll pick a stack of baseball that I have not gone through yet either. I gotta sort these by players. Charles Barkley. Alonzo Morning. Hey, Alex, how's it going? So, Alex, with regards to Thursday, um, it's going to be tough for me. I'm not sure how free you are during the day. Uh, I do have to take my dad to that appointment. Um, he has to be there for nine. I do not know how long he is going to be. Um, so it might be better just to see if maybe we can make it Sunday um, as, as well. I was going to message you uh shortly after this but uh yeah i talked to my pops and we don't know how long he's going to be for his appointment but definitely we will get together for sure and i got your package here as well so that's good it's a nice alonzo morning steel tower wow i haven't seen like any of these alonzo morning power Oh, that's a cool card. It's like a framed card. It's got like a, a um, I guess like a canvas border around it from Skybox. Wow. Wilmer, what's going on, man?
Yeah, free food. Weekends are the best. And this time of year um, for Costco. Absolutely. Go there and don't even have to buy lunch. Oh, look at that. Top's fineness with the protective coating. Beautiful. Um, I'm going to be releasing tonight the first video. Savannah and I are doing four days of ripping. Um, we've done a couple boxes. Uh, actually, we did the first box, which was the Series 1 baseball uh, from 2018. Uh, she wants to do the Chrome next. So we're going to do that tonight as well. Oh, that's sweet. And I want to like, sleeve all of these up. These are like really cool cards. So we're going to do the Chrome tonight. She's interested. She's very excited to do open the Chrome as well as the, the Holiday 19. Um, just because she's like sees Vladdy on the, on the box and she wants to, she's determined to get Vladdy now out of the box. So hopefully rub, rub your chins for us. Hopefully we get a Vladdy out of the box. One's a morning. Oh, look at that. It's a sticker. That's pretty cool. 1996. One's a morning. Wow, look at that. Like, these are cool cards. Like, like, I don't know. Just amazing. That's a lot of stinking mornings, man. That's awesome. Sunday does sound good. Okay. So I'll, I'll keep you posted. Uh, we'll figure it out. I'm going to talk to the wife. I don't think we have anything going on other than skating. Um, so we'll figure out. Come check out uh, the um, the LCS in my neck of the woods. So I think these are just all mornings. Like this guy must have been nuts on collecting mornings. Wow. If anybody's a Lunzo morning collector let me know i'm gonna have tons of doubles so i don't think i'm gonna go through the rest oh maybe there's some different ones all right let's see what we got here so again anybody that's joined has not um i'm gonna be doing a little contest um i'll do the video it's gonna be hashtag uh, ugly sweater ucb so that i can do a search on youtube for it um Find me a card with a person with either a holiday sweater, ugly sweater, or just a sweater you just can't stand, um, and share it. And um, the winner will I'll pick, I'll find all the videos, we'll put all the names in, and the winner will receive a Kuna Rookie from Holiday. With a little thank you for uh, all the support you guys have uh given me and savannah appreciate it and this is the i give back anyways i don't like going back on my word um i had the braves in a break that i you know wasn't able to sell it out so i took some spots so i'm giving that back to you guys uh and we'll do it in a in a fun way in the form of a contest so jdls what's going on so i got this last stack i'll do a stack of baseball and then they probably will be home soon love these cards um, they did these in hockey as well, too, for the SPX. Um, I actually have a stack of the, the hockey here. Love these cards. Love them. The die cut, the hologram. Can't ask for anything else. Hey, Ken, what's going on? Another finest crash the game i remember those cards in hockey as well baseball go through these mornings real quick oh nice classic yeah rookie that's sweet the Jer Derek jeter in the baseball is this the four sport or is this the i can't remember it's just the basketball That's the foil, the gold foil. We've got the Jeter in that, I believe. The 
dream team. Oh, look at that. Oh, those are cool. Love the acetate cards. Freaking sweet. Barkley. Mutombo. Wilkins. Oh, that's sweet. Sean Elliott. Gary Payton. Should separate these cards. <laughs> Zaya Thomas. Robert Parrish. Wilkins. Isaiah. Oh, what's this card coming up? Oh, that's killer. Yeah. Full action. Pat Riley. Gary Payton. Chris Mullen. Variation card. Gold, I guess. Yep. Yeah. So that is that stack of basketball. LA, what's going on? Love those Fleer. Congratulations on the Williams. Sweet card. I had it posted up. I'm going to leave you a comment eventually here too. But I caught it. That was awesome. Uh, let's see here. Quick get the stack of baseball. Whatever I may find. Ah, oh, not this again. My keyboard's causing me grief. My keyboard is kind of like doing something. Keeps hitting the same keys, and I got nothing touching my touchpad on my laptop. I have to restart again. It's a nice Patrick Waugh. Another, wow. Beautiful. So there must be some hockey mixed in with these ones. I just grabbed a stack. Nice Mario Lemieux. And I'm going to be sleeving up like, oh, freaking sweet. Wow. SPX, Mario Lemieux from... 0607. Wow. Yeah, that's sleeve worthy for sure. Big Harv, what's going on? Just doing some sorting before Savannah and the wifey comes home from dance. I don't bother going to dance. Uh, not that I'm a supportive father. It's just, it's closed doors. So um, there's no sense for both of us to sit there and uh, usually my wife will run out maybe go tanning or grab something at a store so uh, anybody that is collecting series one and series two um, this year's uh, upper deck hockey let me know I have binders so my card shop gave me some binders I'm more than happy to give you a binder um, if you're collecting the set just figure out we'll have to figure out shipping on them but um it is a little harder item to get to you guys but uh, again they were given to me so i want to give back to you guys so if you guys are collecting the hockey set um this is the binder for that set 
So that uh, came from Upper Deck. So if you guys are collecting, please let me know. And somehow we can maybe, I don't know, figure out shipping, uh, cost of shipping. And you guys can have the this year's binder. So I've got a few of them. So if you guys are interested, let me know. All about giving back. Paying it forward. Yeah, just sorting cards. Um, just going through some boxes. I still have tons of boxes to go through. And um, yeah, just uh, seeing what, what's in it. I don't know. Wow. Some older stuff. Some Joe Morgans. Some 81. Some Drakes. Eddie Murray. Yeah, I bought a couple collections that just uh, from came from older stores and whatnot. Um, so there's like duplicates and everything, which I'm okay with, especially when you get like some older stuff, like Joe Morgan's and nice, sweet Nolan Ryan, um, five thousand strikeout cards. I'm not gonna complain. Um, Dave, you'll take you'll you want a binder? Yeah, that was awesome too. That. <laughs> that was a wicked, wicked um, pack as well, LA. That was freaking sweet. Uh, to see you get that excited too, it's oh, it's so it's awesome, man. Awesome. Yeah, the sorting never ends, slob. Uh, for cards, I don't use a lot of binders, uh, to be honest with you, uh, Victor. Um, for my back, one day when I actually clean it up, I'll show you guys. Um, well, when I do my face reveal in the new year anyways, because uh, I'm going to do it. I, just, I don't care. Um You'll see that my background if you don't see my green screen. Um, I I have IKEA shelves in my office, so what I do is um, they are the best shelving units for for box holding. So if you um, get the I think it's Kallax or whatever it's called from IKEA, they hold perfectly the 3,200 count boxes, and you can actually fit three in each little cubby. Um, so it's awesome. So uh, eventually, once I get everything sorted, I'm going to have everything labeled on the on the um, the lid covers, so I know what's in what. Uh, but easily, you just pop one in, pop one out. Um, good way to organize, and they also hold the binders well if you use binders. But I don't use a lot of binders. Um, normally, if I, if I get a set, I'll, I'll do sets together. But I'm not a big set collector, to be honest with you. Um, I usually, with the baseball, I'm kind of sorting everything by names and, and players and so forth. So, um, But people do like the binders to go through them. If you like looking at the cards all the time... Then, then great. You know, you can uh, put them in the binders, and it makes a great display, right? So, yeah, who can argue with Nolan Ryan duplicates? I know exactly. Ding the corners. So what's uh, what's with the ding corners? Oh, the ding corners. Okay, for the for the break, I get it. Yep, yep. Hundred cards to oh man, hundred thousand. Oh man, have fun with that. Reggie Jackson. Oh, that is like the most iconic Dennis Eckersley pic picture that I know of. More of them now. Oh, look at that. Look at that hair. Look at that stash. Yeah, if you're collecting a complete set, like the binder, like with Upper Deck, it's nice because they have the binders, so you can basically fit with pages series one, series two, right? Um. So it's nice. Like if you want to just look at it, great. Um, I'm just not a big, you know, binder. With Savannah, yes, I'll do some with binders, um, but because I don't really go after trying to collect the complete set, I don't use the binders as much. Um, usually with the uh, boxes, like the 3,200 count boxes, I'll put like tabs for players' names and keep them that way. Before '96, oh wow, that is awesome. Sweet. Yeah, I'm looking. Well, I'm not looking. I, I got to be. I got to get rid of some stuff that I don't need because it just can get carried away. And I just don't want to put the stress on my wife. My wife's like, you did have an office. I'm like, yeah, I did. I still have an office. <laughs> yeah, it's just full of cards, right? Yeah. But how do you say no? Like, honestly, I don't think that one was snipped. You better snip it. Um, you know, how do you say no sometimes, right? It's, it's, 
it's so easy not to say no. Uh, does Savannah run away with my scissors? She might have been making some snowflakes. Um, but yeah, like it's, I can't say no. It's hard. I do have a nice clean crawl space. So I'm starting to put stuff in there that I'm not going to be um, caring to look at. Um, so those are going to go, you know, in a nice storage. It is climatized in my crawl space as well too, which is nice. It's all concrete and beautiful, clean. So here's an Ernie Banks, a Hank Aaron, and a Frank Robinson, and uh, Sapita. Look at that. Sapita, Sapeta, sorry. From the Heritage. It's a nice card. Oh, you did complete series one. So yeah, if you want um, one of those binders, we can try to figure out shipping to you. Uh, I don't know how that's going to work, but. Awesome slob. I'm, I love it. You know what? I just share it with everybody. I don't care. Um, it's just, it is awesome. I don't know. I, I've always done it that way. People thought it was crazy. And then grading, you know, I stopped collecting in the 90s. And with the penny sleeves, I used to do it when I was a kid back then. People thought it was nuts. But hey, I've got cards that were sleeved that way. And guess what? If I ever needed to get them graded, I probably won't have to worry about a nicked corner. Right? So. Um, so we've got a Lou Gehrig from Legendary. That's nice. Maybe more than a few. It's the Urban Snip. Yes, the Urban Snip. All right, Dave. Take it easy. Are you going live tonight, Dave? It's Nolan Ryan's from 90 Fleer. Ho oh, ho, I know where that's going. I know where that's going. Carl Ustremski, beautiful. That is a nice card, and I don't think they have that one. Put that one in the box. George Brett, that's a nice George Brett. Wow, these are, these are beautiful cards. See how easy that... So this is how easy... Um, oh yeah, got to put this one in here. Wow. Frank Thomas Limited... Number one of 24 insert set. Um, just to kind of like, here's the sleeve, right? And just to show you how nice and easy they go in. Look at that. Just smooth. Just like that. Um, nothing like, you know, I've got ones that aren't snipped. And again, uh, where's a common card here? Uh, probably don't have a. Uh, here's a Joe Morgan. It's a little beat up, but you do a normal one. So you see how you get a little, you've already got damage on a card. Try to get that in without damaging more. It gets tough, right? You got to fight. Yeah, just a little snip. Just a little snip. That's cool. Triple play. The only downfall is it takes time to snip it. I usually hold five or six steady with my hand. Um, actually, I can show you the urban snip. <laughs> Oh, I'm crazy, guys. It's all right, though. So I just take a stack like this, and I hold them until they look pretty much even. And then I'll just hold it like this, nice and tight. And then I'll just go, and I'll just snip it. There you go. Done. And then when you when you go through the sleeve, I always make sure that, you know, you just touch it a little bit. Because you have to make sure you're using good scissors that aren't, um, uh, you know, that are nice and sharp, of course. You don't want dull scissors. It'll just wreck the plastic. Um, there's another hurt. So, yeah, that's all. This in, done. No damage of the corners whatsoever. Oh, yeah. Leather and Lumber uh, Gallery this year. Whew. Yeah. Steve Eiserman. I'm going to give that one to Tim. Pot Van Lanny Mc Donald. Ooh, classic. What we got here? Cal Ripkins. Oh, look at these. I haven't seen this. This is a checklist. The Star Company. I've not seen these ones. Is this a complete... Oh, this is a complete set of Mike Schmidt. 
15 cards, including the checklist. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Ah! Oh, there's the Nolan Ryan! Nolan Ryan! Nolan knows Bo! 15, 14, 13, 12, 11. Missing number 10, 8. 10 and 8 for the set on that one. They might show up, though, in the rest of the box. Hey, Camden, how's it going? Oh, yeah, true enough, Hobby. Yeah, no worries. Have fun, LA. Thanks for stopping in. Nice Nolan Nose Bow. Nice pink card. Paige, what's going on? We'll do one more stack because I think they're probably getting some food. stack and then I'll end it I might be on a little bit later just depending on what the wife's doing I think she's wrapping some presents so I might come on just to uh, see what's going down but again all that you that all of you that joined I will do a quick video maybe just a minute video um, find your cards with the ugly sweater it doesn't have to be festive because it's gonna be a little bit harder but if you can find a festive sweater like that or any other sweater that just looks ugly um, share it uh, hashtag ugly sweater UCB, Urban Card Break, short form. And then I'll look for it, put everybody in a drawing for Kuna Rookie Holiday Bats down. So that'd be kind of sweet. See if it pans out. If not, don't get any entries, I'll keep it. We'll do another giveaway, no big deal. Just thought I'd give it a shot. Let's get some Cal Ripken, some Greg Maddox. Why the heck would they put a checklist? Do they know Urban loves his checklist? No. <laughs> Frank Thomas. It's the second, uh, what, 92, right? 91, sorry, the second year. And what's nice, if you're left-handed or right-handed, as long as you do the snip, you just flip it on the other side, and then you can put it in on the opposite side, too. And Carl, oh! I wonder if Dan, that's going to go in Dan's box david robinson oh nice look at that nice jazz card carl it's a dupe so that will go into dan's and yeah robinson oh look at that big hurt card that is sweet that is like look how thick that is or is that is that a duplicate i'm not gonna force it no i don't think it is because it's um ultimate collection wow that's nice 19 look at it. it's even got the gold upper deck so you can see that the gold upper deck hollow 2001 that's nice he's just practicing with this with the stick with the practice stick Eight percent of the ballots in Jeter, hundred percent, of course, for sure. Oh, look at that! Nice, Carl. Put that aside. Patrick Wah. Look at that, Tony Gwynn. Where's Wackenbach? I wonder if he's got that one. Oh, look at that! Tops Chrome flashback. Why can't they do it like this? That is sweet. Got to break the gloves out for these shiny cards. 
Larry Walker. Wow, at 81. Patrick Waugh. Patrick Waugh. Oh, that's a nice Patrick Waugh. That is sleeve worthy. Nice Reggie Jackson, 50 year. Cal Ripken, is that the Cal Ripken set? Yeah, that's the Cal Ripken Collector's Choice set. Nice Reggie. Another nice Frank Thomas. Another Thomas. Oh, nah, these some of these might end up eventually end up in the bag. <laughs> For the next break, uh, probably do one more, guys. I think one more. I'm going to try to keep it at, like, I don't know, five or six bucks. And uh, I'll do one more break for the holiday. I'd like to open up some more gallery. I love the gallery. I want to get some fire for you guys. Some nice Deion Sanders with the coating from the top's finest. Dan Marino checklist. Oh, look at that. I got to start a Frank Thomas collection. I don't know. When they, if they all look like this, absolutely. Like, tell me that's not shiny, sexy. Look at that. Black diamond. So the black diamond in hockey is beautiful as well too. Like they just, if upper deck would just get back in it for baseball one year, they allow it. That is sweet. Sorry guys. Mooch, what's going down? Thanks, Hobby. I'm going to definitely take a look at that. We've got a Dan Marino, Dan Marino Tops Gold Team Leader card. See, that one's T. They didn't snip that one. That's the difference. And when it snipped, just like that. Do, do, do. Need some more here. Joe Montana. Ted Williams, US Marines. I didn't realize he was in the Marines. Huh. Distinguished service. Nice Jerry Rice. Oh, that does if that doesn't scream Fleer ninety one. <laughs> oh, or the nineties. Wow. That is totally the nineties. Whew. The nineties want their cards back. Whew. -ee. Now that is just that is not a design. That's you know what? I rather have the regular ninety one Fleer than this card. <laughs> Wow. Uh, we got some of the action packs. Are they all Lawrence Taylors by the looks of it? Yes, Lawrence Taylors. Ooh, classic green. Which one of the year is this one? 87? These 87? Yeah, these are 87. Nice Reggie Jackson. See, and this is perfect cards for not wrecking the corners and the edges with the green. Yeah, these are nice. Ricky Henderson. I have to sleeve these up. I'm going to put all these to the side. Duplicates. Jim Rice. Wade Boggs, Puckett, Sergio, 
So if any of you guys are interested, I still have packs of 90 or sorry, 81 Donruss available. I know Hobby's been eating them like candy. Um, I will I did post on my Patreon guys, um, the Patreon box break. Um, those of, that are part of my Patreon and in here, I know Hobby you are. I'm not sure if you got it, but um, oh, there could be a Bo Jackson, probably not, but that would be sweet. I am still have almost a full box to go through, so that would be kind of yeah, that would be nice. So what did you just go eat, Tim? I added a few extra cards. I'm not sure if you saw those already, but I'll get a couple team bags for you on some cards. Ooh, look at these shinies. Ed Bell for oh yeah, I gotta sleeve these. I'm not gonna scratch these up too much. Some of the ding corners though. Yeah, I see that. Put those to the side. Some Nolan Ryan. Wow. I'd love to just get one of these graded. See if there's a really, really good one in there. Robin Yunt. All right. Um, what else? I went through, I believe I went through that stack already. Those are all done. Uh, let's do one last stack. They're still not here yet. I think we can manage this, and then I'll let everybody go. I'll probably come back maybe a little bit later tonight. We'll see. We'll see what's happening if my wife needs me to do some stuff. Take care of family first, of course. Grease. Look at that gallery. Oh, look at that. Green gallery. Marshall Falk. Warm Moon. So shiny. Yes. Power combo. We have our eight foot table full of plastic fold the table in the rec room. That's where Shannon's been doing some wrapping. I'm pretty sure she's gonna want to come downstairs and eat on that table. <laughs> It'll be like the old school TV uh, TV dinner, watching a show. Probably get Savannah in at a decent time. She had her concert today as well, so she was doing some singing. She was like the loudest kid, and not like awful. Like she's actually she's probably gonna be a singer. She's actually really good. I know a lot of parents say that their kids can sing, but she was like the loudest um, and not afraid to show it, and it's pretty cool. Marshall Falk. What's this one? Goody? Kind of reprint. See you, Victor. Thank you very much again. Appreciate that. Nice little package in the mail today. Appreciate that a lot. Jim Kelly. Oh, wow. Look at that. Oh, some shinies. Yeah, those are nice. I'll sleeve these one up. A lot of older football. Not everybody's going to be into the older football. Collector's Edge first day. Look at that. That's a first day card. Numbered. First day. Gonna have to snip a couple packs of penny sleeves. Wow. Tim Brown. Action pack. Monday Night Football. Playoff metal, oh, finest. 
Tim Brown, more Thurman Thomas. First day again, kind of cool. Hey Ace, what's going on? Just about to go off soon myself, just waiting for the fam to get home for some subway, but I'll probably, if nothing's going on, I'll probably be on a little bit later. Uh, maybe I can do some ripping or do something, hang out. Haven't been doing much of the lives of late, but it's getting into that season as well too, so. But I will be posting um, tonight, guys, just watch for it. I'm going to see, I want people to display their ugly sweater cards or uh, sweater that just, old sweater, something that, you know, people think is funny, uh, on a, located on a card. Be awesome. And um, I'm going to do a hashtag of ugly sweater UCB so that I can search for it. And all the ones that I find and just send me an email too that you've posted something or share it. And um, I'll share the link in the video as well. And then I'm going to do a, a drawing for an Acuna Jr. rookie. Bats down holiday. So that's that. Well, guys, I will catch you later. Uh, I might be on a little bit later. May not. We'll see how it goes. But um, dinner is going to be arriving any minute now. So, But uh, thanks for hanging out with me for a little bit. Uh, and um, have yourself a wonderful rest of the week if I don't talk to you guys. And we'll see each other soon enough. So take care, guys, for now. And uh, have fun. Keep on ripping.